And I'm finally back again. Remember me? My name is Dylan. I occasionally make videos about my life living with autism and anxiety. It has been quite a while since my last video. Uh, I was trying, you know, this stupid plane. <laughs> yeah, finally start this video and stuff happens that makes me stop it. <laughs> but yeah, so yeah, anyway, it's been quite a while since my last video, over a month. Uh, I was planning on trying to make at least one video a month. So far, <laughs> it, I've only barely been able to keep to that. Uh, like my one video in February was just a quick update. I filmed on my phone because my computer needs repairs and now this one hopefully is gonna go out on the last day in April. So yeah, good job. Uh, but since my last video, I have big news. I quit my job, so I'm jobless right now, I'm unemployed, I didn't say it was good news, <laughs> but yeah, it, I just needed to leave my job at the, uh, I keep calling it like a lawn and garden and pet store, it's, it's a, a local store that has several locations. Uh, it's a big box store. and I won't say the name, but yeah, I would sell a lot of outdoor stuff for plants and also animal supplies. I guess I had been working there for two years, almost two and a half years. It was just time for me to leave. I, I needed to get out. Uh, things weren't getting any better. Uh, and with the warmer weather now starting, business was really picking up and I knew it was just going to get busier and get worse for me. So I, yeah, just need to quit. This, this is the first time I've quit a job. Well, what was out either the job ending because it was a seasonal job or a temporary job, temp or rare, temp, temp. can't say that word, or, or the job was temper, temporary, temporary, the short term job, yeah. Yeah, first time I quit a job without it being a short term job or having another job lined up that I can go to. Well, okay. I take that back. It's the second time because I did work at that hospital laundry facility uh, and I only worked there a week. I quit so and, and didn't have any other job lined up. So, okay. Second time. <laughs> that, that, that was only after a week. So, <laughs> not two years like this one. So, yeah, a little different. And I would say the biggest reason I quit was because of burnout. I, I know that word gets tossed around a lot, especially uh, after 2020. I, I think it really applies to me. I did look up what burnout actually is, and it's when the reward for what you're uh, working for is lower than what you put in uh, to get the reward. There's a, a bunch of symptoms of burnout. Uh, I think the ones that uh, applied to me was the, the ones like 
cognific, cog, wow, I am just having really hard time talking, uh, cognificant, cognificant difficulties, like, like brain fog, uh, yeah, I, I would describe that, because I'm, there are many times at work where, yeah, I, I would, like, go off to do something and then forget what I was doing and t take take me a little time to remember. Like, I, I would go into a room and then I'd be like, why did I come into this room? Another symptom I felt was feeling like a, a failure a lot of times. Uh, I, I would get like mild criticism or critique for my job performance and I, I would just feel like a failure basically even even though the the feedback I got wasn't that bad but I, I would just feel bad after I got that feel, feedback even though there's no reason to feel that way and uh, another symptom, probably the biggest one I felt was loss of motivation. I would wake up in the morning on a work day and just not want to go to work. And also I, I was showing up late to work uh, quite often. Yeah, yeah, more, more and more days I would show up late and it, it was really just because I, I didn't want to go to work. It just felt like I was slow going in the morning before work. Yeah, it's because of my loss of motivation. And I think that could also apply to me having loss of motivation to make these vlogs. Yeah, but I'm, I'm trying to get that back. And, and I think one of the big reasons I felt all these symptoms was because I actually added up the hours that I was um, working at my store and I looked at the hours that I was at the store and the hours I was getting paid like m minus lunch and, and then I also compared that to the hours from the first store that I worked at because when I started my former job. I started at one store and then got transferred to another store. And yeah, I compared the hours uh, between those two stores and I found out that I was spending more time at the second store, but I was getting less paid hours because my manager would schedule me for nine hours uh, a day and, and then give me an hour for lunch uh, on days I worked except for Sundays because the store was open less hours on Sundays. And at the first store, my manager had me scheduled to just come in 15 minutes uh, earlier. So I would be at the store for eight hours and 15 minutes and get a half hour for lunch. Yeah, 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 add, add up all the hours and uh, I, I was spending like an hour, hour and a half more at work at, at my second store and my paid hours were like an hour less than the first store. And even though uh, for the transfer, uh, I, I got a pay raise. Uh, yeah, my pay went up a buck fifty more an hour, but after the hours adjustment, there wasn't that much difference in, in my paychecks. They, they were almost exactly the same. It, it was only a tiny bit higher uh, at the second store than at the first store. So, yeah. Yeah, I think that pretty much sums up my burnout. And, and uh, look, looking back, 
I think I've been feeling burned out for a year, maybe. Maybe, maybe not consistently, but uh, yeah, I, I think I've been feeling burnt out for a long time now. That's probably also why I, I went down from full-time to part-time uh, starting last year. I would say it did kind of help at first, but now uh, it got back to the point where how I was feeling when I was full time and I couldn't really decrease my hours more so I, I just had to leave and, and during the winter business was dead yeah so much slower yeah all of our outdoor business goes away in the winter and uh, yeah and so much slower but that was kind of almost as bad i would say because it just felt like i was getting burnt out on doing nothing because you know, i would go to work in the winter and there wouldn't be enough work for me to do for a full day i would just get all the work that needed to be done in less than half the time I was scheduled to be at work and then spend a, a lot of time trying to find work to do but a lot of days there wouldn't be <laughs> stuff to do so yeah I was just at work just doing nothing and just feeling like I don't need to be here and, and they, they, they could just send me home and pay me the same amount for the day and it wouldn't make a difference in, in what I did and yeah yeah it was, it was weird yeah what wasn't a good feeling either and also what didn't help was I was pretty much the only warehouse worker at the second store because the manager at that store only seemed to hire the bare minimum amount of of people that was needed to keep the store open which yeah in the winter that that was fine because business was so slow but uh, not so good in the spring and summer when uh, things are a lot busier there was a lot of days where I felt like I was too busy and overwhelmed with work and I couldn't get everything that needed to be done uh, done uh sure <laughs> yeah words are hard you know <laughs> but my manager did hire a part-time warehouse worker but that person was usually only there on my days off so i i wasn't getting any extra help and a lot of this stuff another plane really have there always been this many planes, or is it just when I'm filming? <laughs> but, but yeah, yeah, so, yeah, anyway, there, there wasn't a lot of overlap with me and the other warehouse workers, worker, so I wasn't getting any extra help, and a lot of the stuff fell to me, like, uh, yeah, help, helping, uh, customers out then also had my regular job duties in addition and it was just so overwhelming and this year it looked like it was just going to be the same thing that was going to happen and I I couldn't do it do it couldn't deal with it a, a second time so I got out before it got really busy at my first store, it was a bigger store and it was busier, but it, it always felt like we had enough people and I had other warehouse workers and, and I, I never felt overwhelmed except maybe on a few days or it was really busy and had some really 
difficult customers, but not, not, nothing compared to what I was feeling last summer at the second store. Yeah, so what now? <laughs> uh, I don't really know. I have been looking for work a lot more in the like media field like in television and video production any kind of work so far hasn't really panned out i have been uh trying to do more with videos and i've been spending more time with one of my friends who uh, is also trying to start a career in video production and he's actually trying to put together his own i guess film media production company that very small one but yeah but i i want to get on board with him and do more with that and hopefully it, it, it can lead to more stable work and because right right now i feel like I did, i'm just looking at like the same old type of jobs that i've done before like in customer service or in you know the, the warehouse type which i have experience in but i don't like those jobs <laughs> Yeah, I don't want to do those jobs anymore. I want to move to another job that I like, but don't have as much experience. But I can't really get those jobs because I don't have experience. So it's like a catch-22. Uh, they want people who have experience in this type of work, but how you get that experience for the type of work when you know all the jobs that they, you need experience uh, to get hired. But what are the jobs uh, that I can get hired that say no experience necessary? Yeah, seriously. I think I just gotta kinda do it on my own. Ah, my camera stopped recording again randomly. I don't know, apparently there's like a time limit that it only records for. But I was, <laughs> I was almost finished. I was, I was wrapping up, but apparently I wasn't fast enough. So yeah, anyway, yeah, I was saying I've kind of figured out that I just need to do it to show that I can do it. Do the type of work that I want to do just on my own. Just do it so I can prove to other people that I can do it. And hopefully that will get me the experience I need and also lead to something a lot more consistent and steady. Just have to see what happens. I guess the first thing is I need to get this video edited and uploaded. There's something I can do. So until next video, bye.